Welcome to HVAC Startup Technicians and today I want to show you guys how to wire up a float switch that is if there is any problem with the unit like if this becomes filled with water this will actually trip up the unit and shut it off so there will be no more water running and this morning I'm doing a Goodman furnace as you can see all right guys, so we're gonna check this in heating mode in a while, but what we want to do is make sure that we connect this float switch properly. That is how it's wired, it's very important. I did another video how to do a condensate pump and it will be the exact same for whether you're doing a float switch or a condensate pump. So um, what you wanna go look at here now, you wanna go to your terminal and as you can see, you have all your different lines in the terminal. And I will just kind of refresh if you're pretty new. So Y, as you can see here, that's our cooling. W, that's our heating. G, which is green, that is, this is our fan. And um, C is our common. So what you want to do is you want to take the one lead, lead of this line and we want to put it we want to remove the the R or the yellow line. You see, I've already go ahead and remove the red line that normally goes to power your furnace. And I'm going to take one end of this pump and I'm going to put it onto our red or R where, where we normally put our red is for our power. So we're going to take this line and we go connect it here. And to connect this, it's, it's very simple. So we're gonna connect this, and what we're gonna do once we connect it, we're gonna make sure that it's all tightened down. So we're gonna tighten this screw here. And then we go take the other line. Once we pull the red line out, we take the other end from our switch, and you see you twist it out here already. And I will just put a wire nut on it. And guys, and that's how you connect a float switch or a condensate pump. It's you make sure you have power going around. So one end goes to the R terminal here, and the other end goes to your red line that you connect from your thermostat. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe. See. You.